family has always been an integral part of quilting, which is why with our quilting business, we have chosen to keep it in the family. WIMS has been a family owned and operated business for 15 years. WIMS is located in quaint Lebanon, Oregon. The designs are inspired by the natural beauty of the countryside and much loved sights and memories. For instance, Rachel's flower garden is a quilt inspired by the owner's mother. Rachel loved flowers and gardening, and to commemorate her mother in a lasting way, her daughter created a quilt with her 12 favorite flowers. Quilters all over received this design with much delight. As a result, Rachel's flower garden has become a series. You might be saying to yourself, this is interesting, but how do you make these beautiful quilts? The answer is no secret. Watch how easy we have made watercolor quilting through our affordable quilts. Step one, selection. Choose a kit you like from one of our over 100 designs. If you'd like to see more, visit www.wims.cc. Step two, workstation. Find a place where you can lay out your quilt. We suggest using an easel so you can step back and examine your quilt as you build it. A table or flat surface is also a fine place to start the process. Step three, quilt fuse. Begin laying your watercolor pieces out on the quilt grid. Quilt grid is a pre-marked fusible interfacing and is the perfect way to keep your pieces together and secure as you lay out your quilt. Step four, colors. The trick to laying your fabrics out to blend as a watercolor quilt is to stop looking at your pieces as colors. Don't look at a fabric and think, it is pink or it is yellow. Look at a fabric and recognize it by its color value. Step five, iron. Once the background is complete, take a hot iron and run it over your squares. This fuses your squares to the quilt grid and makes the next step much easier. Step six, fold and sew. Now take the completely ironed background to your sewing machine. Fold on the first grid line marked on the back of your quilt grid and begin sewing one quarter inch seams. All you will be doing in this step is sewing straight lines. After you've sewn all the lines vertically, you will rotate your background and sew all the pieces horizontally. Just remember, fold and sew. Step seven, applique. All of our appliques are fused on, so easy. Simply iron steam a seam two onto the back of the applique fabrics. Peel off the attached paper, place on your finished quilt background, then iron down. The steam a seam two will fuse the applique firmly to the quilt. See, easy and fun. Just like Grandma Rachel taught us, quilting should be fun. Call today to get more information about getting started on your very own watercolor quilt.